In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair a corrupted PST file in Outlook 2019. Or you may be using the Microsoft 365 apps enterprise just like the one I'm using right now. So the solution also works for the Microsoft 365 apps and um, Outlook 2019. So let's, let, if I go to file, go to file and here on our office out account, here you can see that I'm using Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise, which are downloaded from my company portal because I'm, I'm, I have an Office 365 E3 license. So let's say you try to open Outlook and you receive the message that your file has been corrupted, or you try to open an archive file as well, you realize that the file has been corrupted. So I'm, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem in Outlook 2019. First of, first of all, you need to open your file explorer and navigate to the C drive. C drive and here if you are using the 32 bit of office you will definitely need to go to the program files um, at um, 86 but if you are using the 64 bit just like me you need to go to program files here and then on our program files you need to search for Microsoft uh, let me just search for Microsoft Office and the Microsoft Office we need to go to the roots and in the roots we need to go to Office 16 and in Office 16, I will need to search for the scan PST. So here we have the scan PST file, and you can see automatically it's giving me the option to actually um, scan this and uh, this um, OST file and then repair it. But if you also have the option to actually browse, if you think this is not the corrupted the file that was corrupted, so we can also browse to the location. So here I'm going to browse to my C drive. On my C drive, I will go to my users account, user's name, user's folder, and then to my name, or you can select the user who is having that problem. So for me, it's just Kelvin. And mind you, this you can see that this I have a folder called the app data. So, but this app data folder is a is it's an it's, a, it's an hidden file. It's a hidden file. So if if you want to see this file, what you need to do, you need to open File Explorer, and under View, you need to click on Show Hidden files if not you will not be able to see this file so double click on the app data and then go to local here in local we're going to search for microsoft and in microsoft we're going to search for outlook and on the outlook you can see i have some other accounts as well like my company account i have a gmail account so what we just need to do is select the right account the right um, yeah, OST file you think that um, is having that problem, select it and then click open. So after that, you just click start. But mind you, before you do this, you have to make sure that your Outlook is closed. You, you close Outlook. If not, you may receive an error message. So click start. So when you click start, you, you will see that it's going to take about eight phases to actually scan that OST file or the PST file, which is an archive file to see if there's a problem with it. And after scanning those files, it will try to actually repair those files. So what it says is this. It's saying that errors were found in this file. So to repair these errors, click repair folders in this file. So you can see items found in this file with about 5,898. So here you can see, we also have the option to actually make a backup of our scan file before we repair. So if something goes wrong, you also have the backup as well but i don't want to back up the file i'm just going to actually on un uncheck that and just click repair so when you click repair you can see that actually it goes very fast here because um the, there is no really much problem with it but if you select the backup it's going to take some time because it's going to back up the file first before it repairs it so after the repair just click ok and when you click ok then you can open outlook again so when you open outlook probably you will not receive that error message which we are displayed at the beginning thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is kelvin johnson and please if this video has been of any help to you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video and also try and give me a thumb up for taking my time to create this video and also like my video or you can as well send me an email and i will reply to you as quick as possible thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video I'll see you next time. Bye.